What's up, guys? This is Overcast from Vapor Nation. Bring you guys another review. Today, we will be looking at the Stellaire clone by Infinite. Alright, so before I, uh, you know, break it down and everything, I'm just gonna vape it a little bit, show you guys, um, a little bit of performance on it before I break it down and see how this goes. Now my battery is almost dead. Good thing I have a handy dandy VTC5 here, fully charged. You know what, I'm just going to go ahead and, you know, dissemble it and we'll all get a close up on this battery. Right, so this is the box that I got my Stellar clone in. This clone, I believe, is made by Infinite. I could be wrong, but this is what I got. So this is what it looks like in the packaging. I did receive a little baggie with this, and it had some replacement screws, some O-rings, and clumsy old Albert dropped it somewhere in my room, and I can't find it now. But that's okay, it's not the biggest deal. The big deal here is this bitch right here. So let's take this out of the packaging. This is essentially what you get right here, man. You can see the nice cartel engraving in there. You can see it's the layer at the bottom. There is a airflow, an air hole in the middle here and in the middle there. It has a serial number on it has a gold plated connection at the bottom for your positive post 510 threading very very nicely crafted I must say so myself here's your little connector part for your drip tip and it also came with the drip tip which was a big plus for me <clears throat> honestly if it didn't come with a drip tip I really don't think I would have bought it um, I, I really like this drip tip. So this is what it looks like. It has a little line on it. That, um, you know, the logo of the cartel mod crew, if you will. You know, their brand. That's what's on there. It's wide board, just how I like it. Um, I noticed that it does um, attract heat, uh, depending on the, the heat of your coil, you know. So not the biggest deal it doesn't get too hot I like it I really do so let's take this apart so I'm gonna go ahead and just pull off the base here it comes off very nicely and ooh, on the base here you have your gold plated positive and negative posts with the gold screws here gold plated screws makes for a really great connection <clears throat> you see the the holes on it are pretty nice pretty big nothing to complain about there dripping well decently sized um, I would love for it to have been bigger but it's not bad it really isn't very typical um, three post rebuildable atomizer has a single o-ring here for a very nice fit for your top cap and that's really the base of this man then you have your top cap it does have airflow control which I really do like but sometimes it can be a bitch with me it doesn't always cooperate how I want it to so basically how this works is you have this top portion here and you turn it just like this you can see the hole getting smaller and bigger when I turn it and sometimes it gets really snug and it's really hard to turn but right now it's working pretty fine um, very nice little feature now this top part does come off all you have to do is just get your finger in there and just push it and I dropped it you just push up and it comes right out. It has a single O-ring, just like the base does. 
pretty nice little feature on it. I really dig it. So that's, you know, that's really what you get with the Stellaire clone. You got the AC layer, and you got the drip tip. So now that I've informed you on all of this, now we get to the fun part. Let's build it. Alright, so I'm not sure what build I want to do. Um, I've really wanted to try and build a sleeper build. I've never built one before. No, fuck it. We'll do a sleeper build. Um, I recently saw Rip Trippers um, video on the sleeper build. So, I might as well just go ahead and do it. Now, if you guys don't know what a sleeper build is, it is essentially a dual coil made with a single strand of Kenthal wire. So, here I have um, about 10 inches of 26 gauge Kenthal wire. And we'll see how this goes. Um, it should be fun. So I'm going to go ahead and do, uh, I'm going to go four reps. Yeah, I want, I want some pretty low ohms here. So I'm going to go, I'll do four, four reps here. So we'll go one, two, Four. I don't know how good this is going to show up on camera just because I really want to nail this build hopefully I do this shit right if you guys want to build with me right now man that'd be sweet that way you're not so bored so I got my four wraps here I am using a q-tip Everyone knows if you watch my videos, I love Q tips. Got basic four wrap here. So, what I'm going to do is insert this long strand into my positive lead, into my positive post, sorry. And I'm actually going to tighten this up a little bit, make sure everything's good. I got my four wrap micro coil here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert it to the positive post. Boop. Like so. I'm just going to pull this through. And then I'm going to insert my negative lead to my pause negative post sorry I can't think and I'm really bad at multitasking I guess so I'm just gonna insert the negative into the negative and I'm gonna leave some room just so I can do a center post build on this so from here what I'm gonna do is Tighten down the positive and negative posts. Those nice and tidy. They're nice and snug. Now this is going to be the fun part here is making another dual coil out of this single strand here I'm really not sure how this is gonna look for you guys but I hope it's enjoyable so we'll get my other q-tip here you know I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this other lead off get it out of the way bend it 
Yep. Got rid of that other lead. Now we'll do four wraps on this side. Oh, this is going to be bad. We got one. One wrap. Oh, this is this is going to be funny. Got one. Two. Three. Four. We'll go one more round. And then we'll insert this one into the other positive post. I mean, negative post. Like so. That that surprisingly wasn't too bad. Okay. Now gotta find a way to get these together. I don't think my fingers are gonna do the job. Go ahead and tighten down these again. Make sure they're nice and snug. and tight. Oh man, this is looking rough. Sorry, I'm very focused right now. I'm trying to get these to touch. It's looking a little better. here Fuck. that took a lot longer than I expected. Finally, the sleeper build has been done. This is what it's looking like. Maybe if I get it in like this, nice even glow.
pretty pretty good build actually. Go ahead and put her on the uh, handy dandy ohm reader here. See what she's reading at. I want to say point three. Oh, let me tighten down these just a wee bit more. So I can get a close estimate. And she's reading at 0.34 ohms. Not bad. Not bad at all. So I guess it's time for me to put some cotton in her. So I'm gonna do that off camera just so I don't waste any more time than I already have. So when I come back we'll have some cotton in this we'll have some juice on it and we'll be ready to vape alright so we got some wick up in this biznatch Let's see if we can get a better better view of these coils now time to juice a rip Still some of this uh, e juice to die for. Now is a great time to use it. Hmm, watermelon. Get it nice and saturated. And for my first time ever building a sleeper build. Pretty impressed. But will it vape well? That's that's the real question. She's nice and saturated. The moment of truth. Mm, looking good. Now what I like to do is soak it once, pulse it a couple times afterwards, so the coils and the wicks can all get used to the juice. Once I do that once, I'll resaturate it. Get it nice and wet again. Now it's really starting to vape. So I think it is now time to vape it. Let's bring you back up to my face here. There we go. Well, 3.4 ohm, I'm sorry, 0.34 ohm sleeper build on the Stellar clone. I forgot that this e juice to die for hits a lot harder than most of my other juices I've been vaping. That is like a freaking freight train, man. lung hit with this shit. <coughs> oh man. Whew. 
That nicotine is just way too strong. There's no way. I gotta burn this off. I'll be right back. I need some other juice. All right. I'm really sorry about that. I just couldn't, couldn't do it. So I have just a little bit left of this Blend Five from Vape Brewery. I already dripped it. Hopefully there's no more of that other juice in here. Not that it tastes bad, it's just the nicotine on it is very high. So much better. My vapor is getting blown away a little bit because my fan is on. Great build, man. But there you have it, folks. The Stellaire clone. I'm going to leave a link in the description for V-Ape's website so you can get one of these. $35. Not a bad deal at all. I'm really impressed with this clone. I definitely recommend it. Until next time, Vape fan. Vape on.